a big match at the top of the Women's Super League. Manchester United looking to move six points clear at the top of the table, but Aston Villa have not made life easy for anybody here this season. A large number of supporters have made the journey from the northwest to the West Midlands to support their team. And they will know that on the road to the championship there will always be so many difficult games and that really is in this category for Manchester United here tonight. Mainly because Rachel Daly has been in such scintillating form for Aston Villa. 15 goals so far this season and she'll be up against a number of familiar faces from the England squad here tonight. Notably, Alicia Russo. At times, she can be unplayable in the Women's Super League and she's caused real problems for the very best so far this season. One change for Villa from their dramatic 3-3 draw at Spurs last week. Kirsty Hansen is on loan from Manchester United, so Ruisha Littlejohn makes her first start of what's been an injury-hit season. Rachel Daly continues to have a remarkable campaign and has scored over 40% of Villa's goals on her own. Manchester United ground out a vital 1-0 win over Arsenal nine days ago. And Mark Skinner has chosen an unchanged team. Mary Earps kept her 12th clean sheet of the season in that game. And Alicia Russo scored her ninth goal of this campaign, emphasising United's quality at both ends of the pitch. And in the shadow of the M6 motorway, one of the major routes right through the heart of the United Kingdom. Aston Villa and Manchester United meet in the Women's Super League. So much attention, of course, on Rachel Daly. Signed from Houston Dash in the United States. Eyebrows were raised when she chose to come back to England and sign for Aston Villa, but it has been justified with the number of goals she has delivered to this team. Amaya Letizia will be one of the players tasked with keeping her out this evening. United could go six points clear, but with Chelsea having games in hand, they have no margin for error whatsoever. Every game is a must-win game for Manchester United. Aoife Mannion made her first start against Arsenal since coming back from nearly a year out with an ACL injury. Lisa Benn is our referee for this game. Birmingham-born Mark Skinner knows his team need to leave this city with three points here tonight. <laughs> Aston Villa have never beaten and not even scored against Manchester United in five previous meetings in the Women's Super League. And they have got the game underway. We're in Clariton Blue, and very quickly, they will be on the defensive here. Mannion with the free kick. Toon, and support from Blundell. And she's won the throw-in in the end. Now Russo shrugs off the first challenge and looks to go for goal with a delicate effort, but it's a comfortable save for Hannah Hampton. And Anna Patton there was left trailing in the wake of Alicia Russo. And the shot may have been heading wide in the end. Daly. 
And the low sun could cause an issue for one or two players on the far side. Certainly during the first half. Here is Patton. And now Blinkilda. Little John. She'll be glad to be starting a game again after so many injury problems this season. Mailing in pursuit, but Blundell gets there first. Mannion just forced to hurry the clearance. Now Stanner fourth. And United quickly win it back. And it's bad yet. Showing her pace once again down the right. Russo and Toon waiting in the centre. And it's Toon who wins the header. Drops to Galton. And now Ladd finding Toon again. Zellum on the stretch. And as a result, it's straight at Hampton. Katie Zellum has played every single minute in the Women's Super League season so far. And she really is the heartbeat of this Manchester United team. And Jordan Nobbs, the player who was fell, but Villa do have the throw it. Nobbs signed in January. Another player who is in a similar category to Stanna Forth and Daly. In that she's seen it and done it at the very highest level. We briefly saw Carla Ward there who made the decision to move across the city from Birmingham at the start of the previous season. And she was manager of the month twice during the current campaign. Daly closing down Mary Earps. Clever touch from Russo, but she was fouled by Turner, and it will be a free kick. Daly. And Blink killed it. Mailing losing out, and here is Galton. Russo down the centre, Toon coming short. Galton again, and now Toon encouraged to hit the byline, but she's got support from Blundell. Galton, Zellum, away from Staniforth, but she drags the shot wide. And it's a dominant start from Manchester United here. Second attempt from Katie Zellum already. Salem with three goals so far this season, but she's also provided seven dead ball assists in the Women's Super League. And her delivery has been key to United's success. Zadali just closed down. Mailing. Now Little John. Patton. That's an interesting ball if Dali can get there, but the flag has been raised. The French international caught in the offside trap. The players were going tumbling elsewhere on the field. It was Jordan Nobbs who went down, but play continued. Mannion. to Toon and now Ladd will try and spread the play again bad yet and the early cross is claimed by Hampton 
Only three clean sheets in 11 games for her this season. Villa only have a goal difference of plus four. And they've had problems here at home. Four wins, one draw and four defeats is the overall record. Only 13 of their 30 points have been gained either here or at Villa Park. Patton. And their record against teams above them, basically the top four, is one win, one draw and four defeats. They beat Manchester City on the opening day of the season, that 4-3 success, which really set the tone for them. Also got a notable draw at the Academy Stadium. But they've endured some heavy losses elsewhere, including a 5-0 defeat at Old Trafford back in December when a record crowd of 30,000 for Manchester United were watching that game. And it's been back-to-back 5-0 defeats away to United in the WSL, but they did get a 0-0 draw here towards the end of last season, which was very damaging for United in their pursuit of the Champions League, of course, they eventually missed out to Manchester City, who reeled them in in the closing weeks of the season. Villa have a free kick. And Lucy Stanner fourth is over it. Scored against Villa last season in that 5-0 victory. Bling Kilda works the 1-2 with Darley. Can she deliver the cross? It was poked away by Galton at the expense of the game's first corner. And having been under pressure, can Villa score against the runner play here? Corner is driven, it's a good header, it's a brilliant goal. And it's Rachel Daly once again. Well, she can do no wrong this season. Well, Carla Ward not betraying too much delight. But if that came off the training ground, it was work to perfection. Staniforth with the corner, and then Daly arriving late. And she glanced in that header with real power. Mary Earps had no chance. No clean sheet for her this evening. And United concede. For only the tenth time this season. And it's a 16th goal of the season for Rachel Daly. And for the first time, Aston Villa score against Manchester United in the Women's Super League. And it's a goal they'll be talking about for some time. Oh, it's been given away by Ladd. Now Daly. And the shot from Nobbs was scrambled away eventually, but... United conceding to Villa's first effort on goal. Mannion, now Blundell. And that could be a real blow to their title hope. Zellum. Free kick. Jordan Nobbs was late on the key to Paris. Two old England teammates. And it's a yellow card for Jordan Nobbs. Complaints from her coming in from behind, and the yellow card was always going to be the outcome of a challenge like that.
United had won their previous three games without conceding following that 1-0 loss at Chelsea. Of course, Chelsea, the only team to have beaten United in the Women's Super League so far this season. Little John, well, she's lost out. And the driven cross is blocked at the near post. And a goal kick has been given in the end. Good defending from Daniel Turner. Little John just losing out. And Badia was looking to pick out Galton in the centre, but Turner read that really well. Long from Turner. Nobbs. I'm sure we'll have to manage that yellow card now. Russo. And Pacheco doing well. Villa did enjoy four wins in a row before losing 3-0 here to Chelsea. Back-to-back -back defeats to them in the WSL and the semi-finals of the FA Cup. Now a break into the penalty area ends with another shot straight at Hannah Hampton. And Nikita Paris denied this time. without a goal since October in the WSL of course won this competition with Manchester City Daly stepping in before Blundell but then just stepping off the pitch Toon Mannion Given away to Little John. Quickly intercepted, too. Galton in pursuit, but Patton gets there first. Hampton. Allowed Russo to get pretty close, and as a result, United are able to recover the clearance quickly, but no real alarms. But they certainly were at the other end. Rachel Daly meeting Lucy Stanner fourth's corner. And that is one of the headers of the season in the WSL. Got the power and the direction from a long way out, and Mary Earps knew she was beaten. A long time before the ball got there. Bad yet. Early in looking for Russo. And there's the equaliser. And it's Leah Galton. And it didn't take them long. Relief for Mark Skinner. Leah Galton's ninth goal of the season. Surpassing her total from the previous campaign. On a badger, using her pace again. Russo made the run to the near post, but it was Galton coming in behind her. And she did well to control the finish at pace. And just for once, Alicia Russo was the decoy. And we are back to 1-1. Villa were ahead for only six minutes. And now Zellum robbing Nobbs, looking for Galton again, but this time it's guided back by Patton. Staniforth.
pace of Badia. Something that Villa will need to try and cope with. Here is Mailing at the other end. And Anna Blundell went to the ground but won the ball cleanly. Another player in the United side who has won the Women's Super League with Chelsea. Dali. And having conceded from a set piece, Mark Skinner has seen his side respond with a really good counter attack. Russo. Villa's turn to attack now in what's been a fast-flowing game. Mailing. That's Blundell's clearance. Turner. One for Nobbs to chase, but not this time. We have a message for the driver of that leg for six in the C4, registration LG18. And Aston Villa managed only five points and five goals in 11 home games last season. They finished ninth in the end. And in their first season at this level, they were only three points clear of relegation. Dali. Glenn Kilder waiting in the centre, but Dali is flagged offside again. And this is the start of such a busy period for Manchester United. They still have to play Spurs and Manchester City at home and travel to Liverpool. In their final three games of the season, on the 14th of May, they'll head to Wembley to meet Chelsea in their first Women's FA Cup final. Russo. Nice turn from Paris. Bradia. Blundell, both full-backs are forward now. It's quickly won back by Blin Kilder. Now Mailing. Dali. And here is Little John Galton. Helping Blundell out as she was rather stranded upfield when that move broke down. Marisha Little John starting her first game of the season. She has had so many injury problems. Lasted only five minutes of the win at West Ham last month. And a heavy challenge sent her off with a large laceration in her ankle. But she needs minutes on the field with players like Lucy Staniforth and Jordan Nobbs arriving this season. She was one of the regulars during the previous campaign, but she was out with a foot injury in the first half of the season and has never really been able to get the regular rhythm of games and performances. Patton. Onion's clearance, but now Mailing joins in. Dali. Staniforth. I'm not sure Dali was anticipating the return ball, but she was able to deal with it. Pacheco. Patton. Game 
game has quietened down slightly after such a dramatic start. Two goals in the opening 15 minutes. At the start of play, United three points clear of Manchester City. Both have played 18 games. Blaine Kilda. Now Mailing. Blaine Kilda again. Daly. Mailing. Blaine Kilda. Strong challenge from Blundell, and she comes away with the ball. And she's also got support from Zellum. Chelsea are four points behind United, but they will have three games in hand following this game. And a free kick has been given for Russo's challenge. And Arsenal currently fourth in the table. They have 38 points, two behind Chelsea, but they have a game in hand on both United and City. There's the equaliser scored by Leah Galton. Just getting there before Sarah Mailing at the far post. And did well to improvise the finish. Everybody appeals and a corner kick's been given. Leia Galton can't believe it. Mark Skinner looks quizzically towards the officials. Well, what will happen with this corner? Mary Epps had no chance at all with the previous finish. Stanner fourth again, and it's driven into a similar area. It's another header, and it's Patton this time off the crossbar. Well, the United not reacting, and they are so fortunate not to be 2 1 down. Not quite as far out as Daly was. But it's still a free header for the defender on loan from Arsenal. Now Mailing. Daly. Daly waits in the centre. And the flick on from Nobbs just evades her. Paris. Away from Pacheco, but not Little John. And then Paris does well there because. She was aware that Pacheco was behind her, but Anna Patton so close to a second, a very similar move, and this time the header comes back off the crossbar and Mary Earps nowhere near it. And neither was anybody else in a white shirt. And she'll be thinking about that one for some time. Croatia Little John is just sorting out her laces. <laughs> Dali. Now Nobbs. And it's offside. Jordan Nobbs claims it can't be hurt. And he did, and the official on this near side. Blundell. Rachel Daly now with 24 goals in all competitions this season. And in the Women's Super League, it is 18 in her last 21 games after scoring five in the previous 31, which is a remarkable change in fortune. Leah Galton, the player who is down. She was just caught there by Mailing.
goal scorer checks on another. As Villera called in for a mid game debrief, and United do the same. But the deliveries of Lucy Staniforth against her former club have caused so many problems so far. Assisting the first goal and almost providing a second. Carl Ward must be saying, just win more corners down the right. Lucy Staniforth has also been shown a yellow card as well. who made the challenge there and then Staniforth kicking the ball away which has led to the yellow card second booking for Villa following Jordan Nobbs Dalton just being strapped up Be a concern for Mark Skinner. And she was just kneed in the thigh there, it seemed, by Mailing. And she very quickly grabbed for that right leg and Mark Skinner will be keen for her to remain on the field of play one of his key attacking talents now level with Alicia Russo on nine goals this season and she may have to run that off with Stacey Pearson, the fourth official. And the goal from Leah Galton, United's 50th in the Women's Super League this season. If it comes down to goal difference, which it could, they currently have the edge on all of their rivals. And they've scored four or more goals on seven separate occasions in the WSL so far this season, including that 5-0 win against Villa at Old Trafford back in December. And the goal from Rachel Daly, the first United have conceded in the Women's Super League since Sam Kerr's winning goal at Kings Meadow back in March. Blundell away from Mailing. Has support from Toon, but it's longer in towards Paris. Badia. It's deep. And it's cleared away initially. And then the foul on Daly will lead to a free kick. Aziza Mannion, who is not really enjoying having to mark Rachel Daly so far. Of course, Daly is a former defender, so she does have that sort of awareness in her game as well. Hampton with the free kick. Zellum. Closed down by Little John. Darley. Neatly away from Ladd. And now Blinkilda. Almost deflects into the path of Daly. Little John. Well, she could receive a yellow card there for pulling back Paris. And we 
Lucy Littlejohn. Lacking match fitness, and she's been caught out on one or two occasions so far, and it's a third yellow card for Aston Villa. And again, it's one of the more blatant ones. Dalton. Now Russo. And Patton is forced to concede the corner. And Letizia is forward. Try and crowd Hampton as much as possible. Zellum's delivery, Hampton has lost it! And it scrambled away initially. Paris was in there. Now Toon with the header towards goal. There's real panic and an excellent save now made by Hampton to deny Golton. Well, the two sides of a goalkeeper there. Hampton not dealing with the initial cross in, creating the confusion and then ending it with an excellent save. Here is Galton. Into Russo from Toon. Patton gets rid. Only as far as Badia. Lad. Turner is able to clear. And now Mannion. Zellum. Galton. Mailing. The ball around with some purpose at times. Mailing now on the overlap again, and Mannion forced to concede another corner. Lucy Stanner fourth will trot across once again. <laughs> Villa's third corner, the first one produced a goal, the second one saw a header come off the bar. What will they try this time? Down a fourth, going deeper, all the way through to Nob. She lets fly, it's deflected, and it will be another corner, this time on the left. Villa with over 60% of the possession so far, but United with more shots, uh, more efforts on target. Nob's had time to bring the ball down, but Rousseau was quickly out to her. Fourth corner for Villa. And there's plenty going on there. Pacheco was being held down initially by Badia. And then Ladd goes down. And Lisa Ben, the referee, just tells them to cut it out. But as soon as she walks away, it continues. whipped in but it's very deep but Nobbs again peeling away around the back returning it back in and this time it's headed over the top well it was Anna Patton once again the ball being drawn to her inside the penalty area this time it was Jordan Nobbs with the second ball and Patton had to try and almost get over it and it was a difficult one to execute. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. 
Dali. Now Patton. Looking for that switch to bring Pacheco into the game. Badia. Badia almost played into trouble. Pacheco nearly won it back. Paris is back to help her out, but now Nobbs with a challenge. Dali. And the cross fired into Daly! And once again, Rachel Daly is immaculate in front of goal. Nothing Mary Earps could do there. And Rachel Daly continues to be one of the WSL players of the season. It's another brilliant finish. Guiding the ball in. After Dali and Pacheco had worked the opening on the left. Everything she hits seems to fly into the back of the net. And in a season, and in a league with so many top strikers, nobody is as good as Rachel Daly at the moment. 17 WSL goals this season. And United are behind once again. And she and Blinkill, they both go to the turf. And Carla Ward knows just how important Rachel Daly is. Maybe slightly unfair on the others to say she's carrying the team, but in terms of goal scoring, she has scored 17 of their 37 goals this season. Little John. Now Toon. Lad. And Nobbs has been penalised, of course, on a yellow card. And can United provide? Another quick response here. <laughs> Zellum with a delivery pattern. Not getting the touch, it's a goal kick. This was the earlier opportunity for United. It's Pacheco who headed the ball away. And Dali's clearance falling to Toon. And it was Daly who almost teed up Galton for her second goal. But Hampton making an excellent save. It's only the third time this season that United have conceded more than one in a WSL game. They lost 3-1 at home to Chelsea back in November. And, of course, they dramatically won 3-2 at Arsenal in the same month. And Alicia Russo scored in front of over 40,000 at the Emirates Stadium. They've lived off clean sheets, 12 in their previous 18 games, but 2-1 down here as we approach half-time.
large numbers of United fans who have made the journey to the West Midlands. It's been a difficult watch so far. Excellent game for the neutral. And Rachel Daly, of course, on a hat-trick. Scored three against Reading earlier this season. Blink Elder. And Mayling making absolutely sure. will be hoping that late season weakness doesn't cost them once again of course they were unable to hold off the challenge of Manchester City last season here is Paris good defending by Pacheco it's a corner feeling we haven't seen the end of the scoring yet in this game corner is deep and there is the second equaliser no it has been disallowed Mark Skinner not happy about the decision it was headed in by Hayley Ladd but Hannah Hampton was already on the ground and what happened here it was Blair Galton who was closest to her and did she impede her well he would say no and Daly in pursuit at the other end Mannion holds her off this time Blundell Blink Hilda working hard to win it back Dali, Little John. Staniforth, Blinkilda. Flick from Russo, and now Galton. On to Paris, using her pace, Pacheco comes across, and that's brilliant defending. Pacheco tracked the run across of Paris and then did just enough as she was looking to bear down on Hampton's goal Zellum Now Blundell. We're into a minimum of three more minutes at the end of the first half. Mannion all the way back to Mary Earps, and it's been such a fascinating game, full of talking points. And the headline story at the moment is the leaders are behind, and if they lose this game, they will be four points clear of Chelsea, who would have three games in hand on them. And of course, Manchester City could also go level with United if they beat Reading on Sunday. Staniforth has been fouled here. And Mark Skinner has a big 15 minutes coming up. back by Galton. Long 
one from Patton. Daly on the move again. And she's shoved over by Mannion, and that's another set piece given away by Manchester United in a dangerous area. One of its in prime Lucy Stanner fourth territory. Better than a corner. And we still have a minute of added time to play. And Mannion there had no need to do that. Kenza Dali will take the free kick this time. Mannion is short on the edge of the penalty area. Dali's delivery, and again, it comes to Nobbs who hits it, but it's wide. Well, nobody's picking up Jordan Nobbs at these set pieces. And she had plenty of space again, but this time... Drags the effort wide. Toon. Once again, Villa clear, looking for half-time, and they have half-time, and they lead the top side in the Women's Super League by two goals to one, thanks to two superb goals from Rachel Daly, taking her total to 17 this season. Leah Galton did equalise for United, but they have been under pressure from set pieces for long spells. Hannah Hampton making one fine save to deny Galton a second equaliser. Hayley Ladd also had a goal disallowed. And there have been so many things to enjoy in the opening 45 minutes. At half time, it is Aston Villa 2, Manchester United 1. And welcome back to the Bescott Stadium. Half time, Aston Villa leading Manchester United by two goals to one in the Barclays Women's Super League. Rachel Daly with two goals so far. 17 for the season. And it's been a terrific game with so many opportunities for both teams. United equalising once. They believe they should have equalised a second time, but... Leah Galton was penalised for pushing on Hannah Hampton. And the young fans here tonight will be hoping that Mark Skinner's side can find something in the second half and come from behind to take something. They'll be top whatever happens, but really it's a must-win game with those around them all having games in hand. Nice weather for Ducks. Tizier eventually persuades our guest to leave. <laughs> Crucial 45 minutes coming up for Manchester United. And we have a false start at the beginning of the second half. United in the white shirts, and they are defending the goal away to our left-hand side, trailing by two goals to one. Thanks to the former Houston Dash player, Rachel Daly, the top scorer in the Women's Super League so far this season. Zellum, and Paris unable to keep that in play.
As Pacheco, who provided the cross for the second goal, will take the throw in. Salem. And the challenge made by Daniel Turner, the captain. And Villa's formation has really allowed the attacking players to get forward with the defensive shield behind them. Zellum, now Toon. And players like Katie Zellum and Ella Toon have found themselves on the fringes of the game for long spells so far. And when that's happening, United are going to find it difficult to apply the sort of pressure that they need to. Hannah Hampton made one excellent save in the first half to keep out Leah Galton. But United have found themselves undone defensively by set pieces, which is so unlike them. And Alessia Russo has found herself lacking service in the main. And, of course, when she gets the right sort of deliveries into the area, she usually does the business, but not so far here tonight. Daly, cut out by Paris, now Toon, and United have the throw in, Mailing, Letizia, now Mannion, one of a number of former Birmingham City players on both sides tonight, Blundell, Galton. And bad yet is quick and it's a good job she is for United to keep that ball in play. Paris. Now bad yet. Zellum. Mannion. United dominating possession, but Villa very well organised. But now Ladders found space. Danaforth just slipping. Paris, Toon checking her run to stay on side, but Zalim is okay. Zalim's delivery in towards Galton, but it's scrambled behind by Turner. It will be a corner, and United looking to set the tone in the opening minutes of the second half. Another searching ball in from Zellum and Galton. Kept out by Turner, the former Everton player. And Hannah Hampton has had one or two issues under high ball so far. And United, of course, will be aware of that. Zellum delivers another one now, and the header is over the top from Russo. Both teams are finding it really difficult to deal with set pieces, all about the delivery. And there is plenty of height in the Villa team, which they've used very well in an attacking sense. Now Nobbs. Dali. Helps our support from Pacheco. Blinkilda, short but recovered by Dali. And the cross is beyond Daly. Now Hampton. Blundell. Toon. Villa are happy to drop fairly deep when they don't have the ball. So United may find themselves in a game of patience here to try and break them down. Galton. 
in towards Russo. He's defended well again, but Zellum quickly closed down by Nobbs. Mailing. Badia's cross is blocked by Nobbs. It will be another corner. Jordan Nobbs, one of three Villa midfielders on the yellow card after the first half. Hampton again will try and deal with Salem's delivery. She stays on the line. Blinkilda. Zellum, that's a good ball, Lad helped on to Paris and the cross deflected and Hampton does well to avoid the corner. And Hannah Hampton only 22 years of age, but she does have a lot of experience in the Women's Super League. Nobbs. Oh, it's cleverly done. Using all of her experience there to evade Badia. Bashaka. And now Dali in behind Badia. Daly waits in the centre, but the cross was blocked by Letizia. Dali again. It's deeper this time, and Blundell has to concede the corner. Nobody near her, but. He couldn't be sure who was lurking. And Villa have their first corner of the second half. And they scored from their first in the first half. Stanley fourth again. And this time Letizia was there to meet it. Mailing. And the scoop from Staniforth. Darley. And the party piece is coming out now from Villa. Blinkilda. Pacheco. And Patton is offside. Coming back from the original corner. United do have attacking options on the bench should they need them. Rachel Williams is somebody who has made all of her appearances from the bench so far this season. Nobbs. Now Dali bringing Pacheco into the game. And the cross was towards Blinkilda. And it's a goal kick in the end. The Carla Ward has seen her team put in some excellent crosses, maybe slightly too deep from Pacheco this time, but Daly made the run to the near post and Blinkilda maybe crowded out, but it's unlikely you will get a decision in that sort of situation. You might get the free kick there, though, for... The foul by Turner and Carla Ward slightly exasperated by that. Just a quick word with Stacey Pearson, the fourth official. Rachel Williams and Martha Thomas on the bench along with Lucia Garcia. All may be required here for United as they chase this game. Oh, almost trouble for Earps. Mannion is able to deal with it. 
Blundell. Letizia. Villa will clear again. And that midfield trio have got through a lot of work, but the free kick's being conceded by Darley now. Just catching Ladd. Initially, it was Daly, or Darley rather, who was appealing for the free kick, but... Mannion. Now Zellum. Russo coming short. Letizia Badia now Zellum Lad working it wide again and the cross in looking for Russo and Dali was back defending but again the clearance causing problems and in the end it's a goal kick Russo got the final touch Russo denied initially, Dali looking to keep out Toon, but Russo winning the header, but a moment of danger has passed for Aston Villa. And Alicia Lehman among the players warming up along with Chantel Boy Hawkler for Aston Villa Letizier now Mannion Blundell and the pattern of the game seems to be set now with Villa looking to try and protect their lead Russo, Galton Blondell again, Galton again, here is Russo, let's fly but too high. But Mark Skinner needs his team to keep that sort of tempo going. And back his side to eventually take one of their chances. Alicia Russo, who of course first came to prominence in the United States with North Carolina in the college game and has returned to England and become such a star for Manchester United. Daly. Now Nobbs. Daly. Daly! Off the crossbar. So close to the hat trick. Fine move from Aston Villa, which was almost crowned in the grand manner by Rachel Daly. She was at the heart of it. And Nobbs finding Daly and Daly. Clattering the crossbar and Aston Villa hit the woodwork for a second time and Carla Ward knows how important that moment could have been. Daly in pursuit, but it's a goal kick this time. And a big crowd at the Bescott Stadium tonight to watch this game. And the home fans will be enjoying it. As will the neutrals, it's been tremendous stuff so far. 
both teams are really going at it. And we will see so many games like this coming up in the closing weeks of the season with so much still to play for as Paris wins a corner off Pacheco. And again, doesn't get there with the corner. She was flailing, but Villa clear. Rousseau, that's a good cross in just over the head of Mannion. Toon. And again, it's cleared, this time by Patton. Badia. Rousseau. Blundell, must be a second, it is. And it's Nikita Paris. Her first goal in the Women's Super League since October. And the league leaders are level once again. A succession of crosses into the penalty area. And this time Blundell finding Paris. And all Hannah Hampton could do was help a powerful header into the back of the net. And the goal was coming. And it's Nikita Paris who brings Manchester United level 2-2. And her reaction to the goal tells you that United want to get on with things quickly here. And United equalised moments after Rachel Daly hit the bar for Aston Villa. A goal which could have taken the game away. Now Nobbs. Pacheco and the flag is raised for offside. And Alicia Lehman has come on in the aftermath of that second goal. And she's replaced Roesha Littlejohn, who of course has had so little football this season due to injury. Russo, different game now. Zalem, cut out by Mailing. And Lehman has been fouled by Toon in the battle. In fact, it was Blinkilder who was caught. And Carla Ward has seen her side twice ahead. Twice pegged back, and can they respond a third time? Pacheco. Villa were 2-0 up and 3-2 down last week at Tottenham before they eventually finished up with a point in a 3-3 draw. Pacheco. And Mark Skinner. Full of animation in the United Technical area. Patton. Helped on by Staniforth. Two. Paris in pursuit. Good challenge, though, from Turner. And 
And there is an experienced core to this Villa team. Players like Turner, Daly, Staniforth, Nobbs and Daly. And they will be required now. To guide through some of the younger players. Toon. She was looking for Paris, who held her run to try and stay on side. But he'll want the winning goal now. Mailing. United have the throw in. Now Bling killed that. The Shaco. Allows it to run for Nobbs. And this time it's a rarity in the game. Away we're cross. We've seen some. Great crosses during this game from both sides, leading to goals. Staniforth and Pacheco with the deliveries for Villa. And the two fullbacks, Badia and Blondell for United. Letizia. But here is Nobbs. Daly around the corner looking for Blinkilda. Lad. So just running out of room. But Nikita Paris maybe needed that goal. Found by Blundell and coming in off the wing to deliver the finish. Of course, a player who has won the biggest prize is the. UEFA Women's Champions League with Lyon. And of course, titles in both France and England. But she still has a point to prove, which is why she's at a club like Manchester United. Nobbs. Good running from her again. Blink Kilda. Onto the left foot. Now Nobbs again. And the cross in looking for Daly, who goes down, appeals for a penalty, but mainly from the crowd. Russo. Now two. And it's well read by Patton. Blink killed her. Oh, she's been caught by Zellum. Katie Zellum has seen Villa players booked for similar challenges and doesn't escape here. Gathered well by Blaine Kilda before she was cut down by the United captain. Down a fourth with the free kick once again. And again, a number of United players allow the ball to run. It's eventually scrambled clear, and now Toon can break. And this could spell danger for Villa. Paris in towards Russo, who goes for the looper. And it's claimed by Hampton. Well, we've seen... 
all types of goals here tonight and Russo looking to provide another long-range header. Dali. Knobs. Perpetual motion down the left. Dali. And she invites the challenge from Badia, and it will be a corner kick. Carla Ward will want her team to focus. Having put so much into the game, they won't want to lose it from this position. And they've scored their first goals against United in the WSL this evening. And now... Alicia Lehman is having words with Nikita Paris, and now Lisa Ben, the referee. It's situations like this where United have been so vulnerable tonight. Darley with the in swinger, and it's cleared this time. But the distance from Toon only finds touch. And there'll be tension inside the technical areas as well as out on the field at this stage. Both teams will believe there's a winning goal in this game. And it's Villa's turn to enjoy a good spell of possession, Haley Ladd back to make the challenge. And Rachel Williams will be on shortly to add to the troop of former Birmingham players on the pitch tonight. We've also got two former Birmingham coaches, Carla Ward and Mark Skinner. Pacheco. Skinner took Birmingham to the FA Cup final before moving to Orlando Pride. Badger, smartly done. Now Letizia. Paris in pursuit. It looks like a double change. Martha Thomas is also preparing to come on. And there's a missed kick there, which will interest Russo. But it spins towards Hampton. Rachel Williams, a perennial in the Women's Super League, played in the first season, now 35 years of age. United have the throw in, Russo will be one of the targets. Here is Paris. And she was looking for the corner kick, and in the end, it's a goal kick. And Manchester United have beaten Arsenal twice, lost to Chelsea twice, and drawn at Manchester City on that dramatic day at the Etihad Stadium. But they can't afford to drop any more points, and they are 15 minutes away from doing so here. Rachel Williams and Martha Thomas still waiting to come on, and it will be interesting to see who goes off. And it could be 
a triple change here. Mannion. Dalton was fouled, it will be a free kick. And she may believe she's been the subject of some treatment here today. And now we play the numbers game, and Alicia Russo is the first player withdrawn, the match winner against Arsenal, but not here tonight. Rachel Williams will replace her. She comes off the bench for the 14th time this season. It does have four goals, including one against Aston Villa at Old Trafford. And Nikita Paris, replaced by the Scottish international Martha Thomas. And she's another player who has been a regular replacement. 16 of her 17 appearances now coming from the bench. And Lucia Garcia. The third player on to replace Leah Galton, so the entire forward line has been replaced. And United's two goal scorers have departed, along with Alicia Russo. Zalem with the free kick. Badger. Toon. Garcia. And she left something on Staniforth there, it will be a free kick. And Lucy Staniforth with her seventh WSL club now. And as we've seen, she still makes an impact. and joining Alicia Russo on nine goals this season, but that thigh injury will be a concern with so many big games coming up, including the FA Cup final at Wembley. And nobody is going home early. Skinner, having made the attacking changes, will want his team to dominate the closing stages now. Daly in pursuit. The big boot from Mary Epps. And Lucia Garcia coming back from an offside position. So Villa will get the free kick as we tick towards the final ten minutes. Badia. And Williams knew she was offside. And Carla Ward will look at the remainder of her bench and know she doesn't quite have the depth. But Manchester United possess a number of players making their way back from injury.
Well, the game has entered a becalm spell with maybe a big finish on the way. Pacheco. Hampton looking for knobs. And Lisa Bent just calming things down. Both sides were appealing for a free kick there. Skinner has rolled the dice here by changing up his forward line. But at the moment, his team are finding it difficult to create chances. Now, Lucia Garcia. Blundell. Mannion. And Mannion. Almost giving the ball away, but United have conceded ground as a result. But if nothing else, tonight does show that Aston Villa are becoming a force in the Women's Super League. And increasing the number of clubs who can compete is very important for the competition overall. We currently have a four-way title race with the scrap for Champions League places and Aston Villa may hope they could maybe join that next season as they are caught offside again. And it was Jordan Nobbs who did not look along the line. Beyond Williams. Villa's remaining three games following this. Reading away, Liverpool at home, and Arsenal away. So they will have a, a say in who qualifies for the Champions League on the final day of the season. For United, Spurs at home. Manchester City at home, Liverpool away. Blink Kilda, strong running again. The play's allowed to continue, it's into Daly, and she was maybe trying to tee up knobs. And the opportunity has passed. Thomas. Now Ladd, Mannion, Villa again, so deep without the ball now. Badia, well recovered by Pacheco. And again, we've seen that scoop before from Nobbs, here is Pacheco. Daly ahead of her. Dali. Pacheco's got space. Can she put in another good delivery? This time it's met, though, by Letizia. Thomas. Blundell. Garcia. Now Zellum. Badia. And it's cleared away this time by Patton. Nobbs. Daly, always capable of creating something from nothing. And she's trying to bring Lehman into the game here. But Blundell gets there first. Mannion. 
Long again looking for Garcia. Good touch though from Mailing. Garcia though wins it back. No free kick. Williams in support. Garcia's got Toon square of her. Now Toon, it's all very tight, but it's still Toon and it's poked away by Turner. Blinkilder. Now Dali. Villa on the breakaway. She looks for Daly. And Blundell goes all the way back to Earps, who gets the distance. The game's so stretched now. Williams. Here is Thomas. Toon waits in the centre. But Thomas doesn't pick out anybody. Well, that was a chance to win it. Martha Thomas may be caught in two minds. And in the end, it was neither a cross or a shot, really. Confirmation of the season's attendance, which stands at 4,176. 4,176. The crowd here as United make another change. Millie Turner has come on to replace Aoife Mannion. Mannion, of course, another player coming back from a long-term injury. And either side come up with the winning moment. Daly. Almost got in before Turner, but she recovered well. Now Williams in towards Thomas, driven wide. The cross deflected, straight back to Williams. Badia. Now Toon, driven, and that's an excellent claim by Hannah Hampton. Well, she needed safe hands there, and she provided them. There were United players lurking, waiting for the rebound. But that's excellent goalkeeping from Hannah Hampton. Ninety seconds to the end of 90 minutes. Thomas. Well, she's lost out to Pacheco. Now one back by Badia. Toon. Williams down the centre. Still Ella Toon, it could open up for her, but in the end it was a pass. Straight to Danielle Turner. Here is Nobbs. Daly can't gather. And we are inside the final minute. Lad. Now Badia. Toon. In towards Williams. Badia, Thomas, needs a good cross, it's kept alive by Garcia, Williams, hook clear by Dalek, Turner, now Ladd, Zellum, Blundell, Toon winning another header and she's gone down clutching her face but Villa have the free kick. Latoon wins more than a fair share of aerial duels. And that one may have hurt. But Rachel Daly has really taken the eye once again tonight. A perfect hat trick by the crossbar. Having scored with a header. Very early on to set us going. And then she swept in with the left foot. And in the second half, she saw her right foot shot come off the crossbar. Now, Latoon has 
gone off as we've entered three added minutes. And it's been a disappointing night for her. And it's Vilda Burisa who has come on to replace her. And a yellow card shown. to Nas Pacheco. Villa look to see this one out. They'll be disappointed not to have won having been twice ahead, but it would be another sign of progress. But there's still time for United, the header one. Burisa. And the challenge coming in from Turner, the real captain's challenge, and Villa have the throw in. Williams, Verisa. And United have been given a free kick here, and this could be the final chance. Villa are furious. It was right in front of Abby Did and the assistant order, order. and it was Burisa who went down under the challenge of Pacheco and initially the assistant didn't flag but the free kick has been given and this could be the last chance here for Manchester United to move six points clear Zellum over the free kick. Needs to be a good delivery. And the header is in! Unbelievable! Millie Turner in the 93rd minute. What a crucial goal that could be in the title race. Manchester United have twice come from a goal down and now they've won it right at the end. Well, Millie Turner's previous goal came against Arsenal. She specialises in the big moment. Katie Zellum with yet another assist, and Turner with a thumping header. Leaping above Lucy Stanaforth. She wanted that, and she delivered. And Mark Skinner's reaction tells you how big that goal is. Millie Turner has come off the bench to win the game for Manchester United. And Aston Villa will be denied. But it's the United fans who are celebrating inside the Bescott Stadium. Barely time for Villa to kick off. Carla Ward has been shown a yellow card. Villa, I think we'll talk about the award of the free kick right at the end, which resulted in that cross, that header and that goal. Williams, Villa have a throw in. Well, the Women's Super League has guaranteed drama this season, and we've had buckets full of it tonight. Blundell. And Villa will have a throw-in, looking to come back and draw 3-3 for the second successive game. Dali. And a look back on Rachel Daly's chance, which came back off the crossbar. But Manchester United are six points clear at the top of the table in the most dramatic circumstances possible. Millie Turner's header in the 93rd minute. They were twice behind. They were ahead for barely seconds. But it's enough to send them clear of the pack once again at the top of the Women's Super League. Rachel Daly's two fine goals for Aston Villa.
counting for nothing in the end. But if Manchester United do lift the title, they'll remember this evening as such a crucial moment. It is finished. Aston Villa 2, Manchester United 3.